Hello guys and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Max from Autify and I will explain you today how to create a chatbot for training your stuff or training stuff for other companies if you're selling that for example. Uh, it, I will keep it super simple and super so, uh, super short so the video is under 10 minutes and you can just rewatch it all the time to refresh your knowledge. By the way if you haven't joined yet just join our discord we're a smaller community of like-minded people we try to connect over there and exchange valuable information and we also have a lot of resources over there that we connect it's free so just join and uh, i'll be happy to see you over there let's start with the first thing like i explained in the other, uh, it in the other videos first thing you have to do is to create a bot press um, account after that you just click on create a bot and then you will be here if here are other nodes you can just click right click delete so it will look like that but I have already explained that in other videos so if you don't know what to do just um, take a look at the other videos so let's start with the first node this first node will be the introduction node we'll just put a text in here and write welcome to the Autofy training bot. We will connect the start node with the second node because if a user joins um, your website where you are training the other uh, the people, you can uh, he will just write hi, and this will be the first thing that uh, the bot will answer, and the user will see. Now we can just write a single uh, take a uh, pick a single choice and say please pick your position. In a bigger company there can be a lot of choices now i will just go on with two to keep it simple but at the end of the day it, um, it's it's all the time the same principle the first choice will be customer support customer support and the second thing will be um if we are approaching for uh, if we are working for example for a hotel we can just say receptionist now we have those two possibilities and we can click uh, create one node and start immediately with the first question first thing you can write for example is welcome at our company um, please answer all question all the questions questions correctly then we will on with the first question we can just uh, ask whatever we want to ask so what is the most important thing as a customer support specialist we can here um, like before create two or three or how many choices you want uh, the first choice will be then here communication for example communication the second choice uh, in our example will be just two and the second choice will be three now we can basically um, just copy that and paste it in here again so we save some time welcome to your company please ask all the questions answer all the questions what's the most important thing as a receptionist we have a few more few choices here again um, care of the guests in this example uh, answer number two and answer number three are wrong and now we can just connect the notes customer support for standard two and receptionist for standard four. So now we are here and um, the user will have three options. One will be right, two will be wrong. If you want, you can make two correct and one wrong. But for that, we now have two possibilities. We can create another node and use it basically um, to to say that the user just answered the question wrong and if you would like to um, repeat the test if he clicks then yes he will start at the beginning again 
If he clicks now, he will get connected to the end node and the test will end. So we can just say here, uh, sorry, but that was the wrong answer. Then we will add a card. We will say here, do you want to repeat the test? And the user has two options, yes or no. If he wants to repeat the test, he will get redirected to standard one, like to the beginning of the bot. And if he doesn't want to uh, repeat the test, he will get connected to the end node and uh, won't be able to pass the text to test. Now we can create another node. This is what we can um, we can continue with that for five, six, seven more times. You also have to do that probably if you have um, a company as your client, but I will just use those two now. If the user answered the question correctly, you can say, congrats, you passed the test. Please fill out, uh, please give me a few intos about yourself and then a manager will get in touch with you. So basically what this means, once the user passed the test, uh, the, test he will, uh, the bot will apply congratulations, you just passed the test. And um, then the bot will ask him about a few questions, uh, like a few questions, what's your phone number, what's your name, and so on. And um, that is what you should connect then also with uh, Zapier. So once the user passed the test, you will then get an email and um, a notification that says, Congratulations, the first applicant completed the test. Please get in touch with him. And then you can get in touch with him or a manager or whoever else is um, responsible for that. What you also have to do is uh, connect the wrong answers here with the note that we created recently. And then we just add, have to add a few more cards. Again, single choices, just three of them. An execution code in the single choices we will just ask what's the name of the user so what's your name the next one what's your email and the third one what's your phone number so you have all the data you need to get in touch with the applicant you also have to set the variables for that. So for the phone number, we can just use phone. For the email, we can just use email. And for the name, just name. And now we have to paste the code that I showed you in the last video. Um, I think it's called how to connect Zapier and Google Worksheets or something like that. But if uh, you can find it, just write me on Discord and I will send you over the code. It will be also in the uh, in a channel in the Discord if you're searching for that. But it's super simple. Just create a Zapier account, then you can connect everything together. And yeah, once the user then um, passed the test, you will get a notification. Congratulations, one user passed the test. And you can get in touch with him and um, introduce him to the company. That's it basically. You can you just created an endless cycle. Like we can also simulate what we did. We just write hey to the bot. Now he'll answer. Please pick your position, customer support. Welcome to the company. What's the most important thing as a customer support specialist? Communication. Option two, option three. Let's say communication. Then he will say congrats. You just passed the test. What's your name? And then he will answer you all the, your questions. If um we answer the wrong question we can also show what happened the bot will just say sorry but it's the wrong answer do you want to repeat the test and then you can say yes or no if you say no nothing will happen if you say yes the test will get repeated that's it with the video guys super simple um you can also make it more advanced if you want to you can also make a video about that but uh, you're good to go with this simple 
scheme and yeah if you want to know anything else feel free to join our discord get get in touch with me or Ian. and that's it have a good day guys